victims of last year's Hills fire disaster could join forces to launch a class action for millions of dollars in compensation. Lawyers are calling for all residents affected to come forward, saying they believe Western Power can be held legally responsible for the blaze. In January last year, fire tore through Sandy Elwood's Stoneville home, reducing it to ash and rubble. But 18 months on, her brand new home is finally complete. It was finished two weeks. We moved in two weeks ago. Oh, God. <laughs> Sandy Elwood and her family lost everything and lived in a shed for nine months. Even with an insurance payout, the Elwoods still came up short, pouring their life savings into replacing what they lost. You know, we don't have any money left. Um, we've had to take time off work. Um, loss of, you know, lack, lack, loss of income. It's all, it's all going to add up. Sandy's family has joined dozens of local residents in a group action, seeking compensation. The fire started with this privately owned power pole. Termite ridden and rotten inside, it collapsed, sparking an electrical blaze that destroyed 57 homes. Parkerville resident and ex-firefighter Greg Jones is fronting the lawsuit. Lawyers from Slater and Gordon claim Western Power has a case to answer for possible negligence around the cause of the fire. If there was something wrong, Western Power have an obligation to inform the landowner so they can have it rectified. In this case, that didn't happen. But Western Power says the pole is privately owned, so its maintenance is the responsibility of the property owner. Affected residents will meet tomorrow night in Parkerville as they prepare to launch the lawsuit. While most residents have already received insurance payouts, about 10% are still in battles with their insurers. So while some people have been able to rebuild, others were forced to sell cheap and move on. Sandy Elwood hopes a payout will bring relief to those families doing it tough and she's determined to stay in the area. The only time I'm leaving here is in a cardboard box next time, so no, I'm not going anywhere. Jerry Damassi, Nine News.